Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Sharita. Welcome. If you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for supporting my channel. Today's video is going to be my 10 for life. <laughs> Who else gets anxiety when they have to make a video like this? I mean, it's like you trying to pick your favorite children. Like you, you gotta love them all, but Okay, I'm I'm trying to do I'm trying to understand the assignment, okay? 10. I I narrowed it down to 10. So, without further ado, let's get into this list. Okay, you guys. So, these are in no particular order. We are just going to dive right in. I'm going to start with my discontinued beauties. You better believe there will be backup bottles, okay, in 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 the closet, okay. I, I don't want to be without these, but I mean, what do you do? They discontinue all the greats. So um, yeah, the first one is Mon Exclusive. Listen, if you are a lover, Mongerlon, Mongerlon Intense, this is that, but. The only difference with this is the lavender is dialed back just a tad, okay? This has additional notes of candied almond and you smell the almond, okay? This has additional notes of toffee, of butter. So you're talking about Mon Guerlain with butter, toffee, and candied almond added to the mix. It is so gorgeous. I'm not gonna get into all of the notes for these. We'll be here all day, but let me tell you, I love all of my monger lines, but this one, the Mon Exclusive, it just reigns supreme. All right, next on the list is my baby, my boo. I never want to be without her. And this is Spiritueis Doble Bani. This was like at first sniff. This was not love at first sniff. I thought it was beautiful. But when I tell you I fall more and more in love with this fragrance each and every time I wear it. I love layering this with other vanilla scents, um, but it's just something about it. The, the richness of the vanilla with the incense and this heavy benzoin, it is slightly spicy, but it's just, it's so smooth and beautiful and sensual and I just, I mean, this is, Guerlain just has my heart. Listen, I think they have more on this list than any other house. I have three Guerlains on this list. So this is a lot. I am just obsessed with the quality and just, just smelling everything from that house. I'm obsessed with it. So again, Spiritueese Double Vanille, by the art and materials line of Guerlain. This next one is my very first niche fragrance. This has a special place in my heart, but even if it did not, honey, just a scent profile alone, I don't wanna ever be without the beautiful To Bits by Tiziana Terenzi. This fragrance is just, oh my goodness. Okay, this is peach. It's got this warm sand note. It's, it's sweet. It's got this cotton candy. It's a lot going on in the fragrance. But when I tell you, this is just masterfully done. Some people may find this um, screechy just because of, of certain notes that are in here. Um, but I don't. I just find it to be this very opulent, fruity fragrance. You've got florals in there, but it's just, this is like the summer date night stunner. That is when you pull this out. It is so beautiful. I can't, you can't really describe a fragrance like this because nothing else smells like this. So you've just got to get your nose on it, honey. You have to experience it, all right? And again, that is Tibet by Tiziana Terenzi. All right, you guys, so the next one on this list is No Strangers with the Channel, honey. Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. How could I ever be without the Marshmallow Orange Blossom banger? This is just so pretty, okay? It is so sweet and powdery and delicious, and you just smell 
divine when you put this on. I feel the prettiest when I have this on. I feel the most delicious when I have this on. So when I, the sun is peering in, let me close this blind, hold on. <laughs> Honey, back to love don't be shy. I think that's where we left off. All right, I feel super feminine. Like everything is so like unisex these days. It's just so good to have something that is quintessential feminine, okay? And that is what she is. I absolutely love this gourmand fragrance and I never want to be without her. Okay, Ali, I need y'all to figure out this 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 stock, this stock and it's always out of stock. I need it back because I'm starting to get anxious, okay? I'm starting to develop anxiety. This went back in stock for one day and it sold right out again with that Sephora VIB sale. This is Vanilla 28, people. I never want to be without my boo. This is, I mean, come on now. This is brown sugar. This is vanilla. This is Tonka. This is a vanilla orchid. This is just so delicious. Y'all know I love my gourmands, but this is just, it has a special place in my heart. It's the best vanilla for layering. I have another like vanilla holy grail that we'll get to in a second, but this one, there's something about it, the muskiness of it, okay? It layers beautifully with dang near everything, okay? Anything with a vanilla note, if you wanna accent it, pull this out, spray it on top, okay? And it will completely elevate that fragrance, okay? Mm -hmm. And that is Kali Vanilla 28. Okay, the next one is the Delina, okay? The original. This beautiful lychee rose rhubarb incense beauty is like no other. There has never been one like it and there will never be another after it. Okay, listen, everybody wants to say this is not original, but there's a lot. Everything that smells like this came after Delina. Delina reigns supreme. Delina is not overhyped, okay? Delina is masterfully done. This is a masterpiece rose scent, in my opinion. And I pray to God they never reformulate, cheapen it. Um, just leave her alone. We're not gonna touch her ever because I need this in my life forever, okay? This one is just, it's a special place. It has a special place in my heart because nothing else compares to this rose scent. And she's just a stunner. She is that girl. And again, that is Delina by Parfums Demar. All right, you guys, the next one is Toka's Stella. This is the most sensual, gorgeous orange scent. I'm not even a fan of like orange scents. Like, Okay, love don't be shy. It's got the orange going on, but it's so sweet and fluffy and marshmallowy. Like, it's not like a fresh citrus or anything like that. This is blood orange, okay? But it's got freesia and I think some jasmine in there and it is so exquisite, okay? This is so addictive. Can you imagine an orange and floral scent that is addictive? This is not like one of those bright, popping, fresh, like citrus in your, this is not like that. This is completely different. And for the price point, look at the bottle. It is so like English vintage. I love the bottle. I love the presentation. And the juice to me is just stunning. This is an underrated house in general, but I feel like this is one of their better fragrances. I absolutely love Stella. And she is a for lifer. She has not been around for long at all, but honey, we not ever letting her go. All right, the next one is from the house of Montal. And I'm sure you are not surprised to see this on the list, honey. This is Intense Cafe. I cannot get enough of this beastly coffee, rose, vanilla, musk scent. This is so gorgeous. Okay, this is a compliment getter. This is a beautiful fragrance and if you've never experienced it, I highly, highly suggest you do because it's just something about her. I mean, 
it can get, you know, like the artificial screechy type of vibe. Like, you know, that's just Montal, but you can't deny this is a beautiful scent. This is a beautiful scent if it agrees with your body chemistry and it definitely agrees with mine. This is beastly. It lasts forever and a day. I got this on my ballistics vest, okay? Which is something you don't clean, you know, every week. This, this stuff stays and sticks onto that vet. Like I had to take it off and wash it because the scent was going nowhere. All I could smell every day was intense cafe. So staying power, Siage like no other, okay? Compliment getter like no other. This is just a beautiful scent and I will never be without. All right, the next one is also from the House of Guerlain people. I don't know what they do to me, but they do it. This is terracotta, Lord have mercy Jesus. If this is not the most beautiful beach scent I have ever put my nose on, and it is the Tihare flower for me. This is a white floral with coconuts, okay? <laughs> Just getting like butterflies in my stomach talking about this thing. It is the dead of winter and when I tell you I come home and I still spray this, there is the salty element to it and I don't know why, but this jasmine is so gorgeous. It doesn't get endolic to me. It is just this beautiful, beautiful jasmine. There's just something about when they pair jasmine and ylang ylang. I'm just, it just makes me speechless, okay? Because every time those are together, it's like the florals are just elevated. It's one thing to have a jasmine, when you pair it with that yellow flower, honey, it just becomes a whole different thing and I'm obsessed. This has a little bit of vanilla and musk in the base, but when I tell you this is the most beautiful summertime beach scent, this is vacation in a bottle. Tom Ford's Hulet Blanc, y'all can have it. Give me terracotta because she is everything. All right, and the last one on this list is Indo Batahota. What can I say? I mean, this is my baby. I love this vanilla bomb. This is the nose of Maison Francis Kirk Dijon. I'm obsessed with the abundance of vanilla in here and it is so sugary sweet. It is thick, like heavy sugary sweet and it's just rounded off by a little musk and some woody notes in the backdrop and it is grounded beautifully because this doesn't get cloying it doesn't it doesn't um it, it's just perfect okay this is my idea of just a perfect straightforward vanilla and this is like my vanilla holy grail right now i still haven't smelled anything that takes the place of this. And you know, vanilla has my heart. Like how many vanillas did I have in here? One, two, three, three vanilla scents out of 10. So vanilla is by far my favorite note. And I just absolutely adore this one by Indol. It is my favorite vanilla. So definitely a lifer and I absolutely will be crushed if they ever discontinue this fragrance. I'll be crushed, but I'll get like 10 backup bottles. So I'll be all right. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please be sure to subscribe, give the video a big thumbs up and leave me a comment. Let me know if you don't have 10 for life, let me know five for life, okay? If you just get in a fragrance, honey, you only got one or two, let me know those, okay? I don't care, just drop me a comment below. And listen, I will catch you guys on the next one. We are here, we're doing Vlogmas and we're gonna keep getting these videos out for you. So hopefully I'll see you tomorrow, same place, same time.